Kale McCarr is one of the most electric players in the NHL, but that's not what I was thinking watching last night's Colorado game. McCarr takes probably the worst penalty I've seen in this playoff as he hits Jared McCann after the puck had left the playing surface. You know, I was listening to the Merrick show today and he had a great point. You should never be making a hit when a fan in the stands is catching your puck. And hits like this are especially dangerous because Jared McCann is not expecting to be hit. He's not bracing himself and he goes into the boards. According to Dave Haxtell, he will miss game five and could be out for even longer. Now, two crazy things happened after this. For one, McCarr was properly assigned a major, albeit after no call on the ice. This, for some reason, was downgraded to a two-minute minor, and that's ridiculous. This is a non-hockey play. He's hitting someone after the play is dead. McCarr said he thought McCann was going to play the puck in the corner, but that's simply not enough. You've got to do better. McCarr did have a meeting with player safety, and today he was given a one-game suspension. I think that's ridiculous. This, in my opinion, needed to be at least two playoff games. It's just the worst case of interference possible, and you could even make an argument for boarding as well. Plus, the player got injured. I believe you don't make the sole determination of punishment based on the result of the action, but it should play in. I saw a lot of people draw the comparison between this play to a hit made on Pierre Turgeon by Dale Hunter 30 years ago in the 1993 playoffs. And yeah, I can see it. There are obviously some differences. For one, Pierre Turgeon was celebrating a goal, so he's even less expecting to be hit. But Dale Hunter was given 21 games in that case. Anyway, as an aside, the game would end with Seattle tying the series 2-2. They'd go up early in the first two goals. Colorado would respond with two in the second. Then Jordan Eberle, who Canadian hockey fans know for his clutch heroics, would end up sealing it in OT. And I mean, how cool is that? The second ever playoff game played in Seattle's home rink. They've got the defending Stanley Cup champions and they steal the game. I was already cheering for Seattle in the West alongside Edmonton, but now they just moved up a slot. But that's just my opinion on the whole situation. Maybe I'm completely wrong and the hit's not as bad as I'm saying. Let me know your thoughts and more down below.